now i'll tell you the online documentation and the card shift changeover and challenges and remediations related to production and controls online documentation and the card it is very very critical and uh, very important to all who are attending uh, this course data must be recorded at the time of work is performed signed by only those who has performed the respective activity and operations suppose you are doing the activity and somebody else is signing this is crime in good manufacturing practices it should not be done always follow a good documentation practices for any correction in data or any correction in the record anything if it is not documented means it is not done online documentation is very critical next shift change over hand over and take over in the continuous manufacturing process which is running 24 into 7 in three shifts in that case the shift hand over and change over is very important right the person who is handing over the shift what are the important point need to be considered the first of all the person who is handing over the documents to the next person they should complete the shift change over logbook in which it is mentioned the date product batch number stage completed in particular shift verify and ensure that bmr and bpr is completed record any deviation discrepancies observed during your shift hand over the batch record to the next shift person this is the responsibility of the person who is handing over the shift the person who is taking over the shift they must understand on each point mentioned in the shift change over logbook ask a question if they don't understand any point physical verification of each in process batch along with the person you go along with the person tell him to show me that which stage operation is going on and don't rely just on the logbook what is mentioned go and verify physically to avoid any confusion any misunderstanding for the batch then accept the charge and signed on logbook then continue the shift so now i will discuss the challenges and remediations or uh, related to production and process control right so what i discuss what i discuss uh, with you uh, today uh, through this presentation the objective of uh, the production and process control principles general requirements prevention of the cross contaminations and uh, batch processing operations what are the basic things is required that is issuance of batch record then verification of material then line clearance then area cleaning then equipment cleaning environmental conditions then machine setting process flow in process controls online documentation shift change over these all things i discuss which is very very essential and basic requirement for production and process control now i will tell you what are the challenges related to this section and you all after attending this training program and this course you must follow all those things when you are working into the production area now see the challenges the challenges are the procedure sop not available or inadequate either sop is not available in the area or if it is available that is inadequate means not clearly defined cleaning process is not validated as per record equipment is clean but dust is observed it means what either the cleaning procedure is not defined appropriately or it is not done the validation this is this observation many time i have observed during my audit and by many regulatory agencies procedure defined but not followed because of lack of maybe lack of training or demonstration product not developed validated at to define the correct range of in process specifications development related issues 
environmental condition not maintained during production operation as per the BMR and BPR. Lack of process understanding by the operator. Deviation non conformance results are not investigated to find out the root cause and appropriate corrective and preventive action. These are the few challenges I have mentioned. There are many. The objective of this training, gentlemen, to understand the production and process controls. When you are going to work in these areas, please ensure that adequate GMP must be followed so that we can eliminate these kind of challenges. What is the remediation? As per my understanding, the remediation uh, to these observations is the skill development. The skill development in pharma manufacturing sector to understand the basic GMP requirement is very, very essential. If people are skilled, then they will define the correct processes, correct procedures, training and record. Continuous improvement is essential. Identify the gaps in your system, processes and fix it. You yourself identify the gap while working in your area and do the improvement. Strengthen internal GMP audit process. During internal audit or self inspection, identify the gap and deficiencies and fix it. So, these are the ways by which we can eliminate the challenges and we can be more and more compliant to the systems and procedures. Thank you so much. Dhanyavad.